I got this little uh, digital thermostat switch for uh, this cooler radio I'm building. I got this to control some fans on the inside so I wouldn't have to run them off a switch and manually do it. Uh, I paid like six bucks for it on eBay. And I finally figured out how to wire it. It was really simple, so I feel stupid for not knowing. But if you're not real good with electronics, you might not figure it out. So it's real simple. I wanted to make a video to show you how to wire it. Uh, you've got four connectors right there. This one right here, this is the uh, the probe for the thermometer or whatever you want to call it. You know, just the middle thing that, you know, senses the temperature, I guess. Uh, these four, obviously these two is your 12 volt in your ground. You got to connect that right to the power. And then that gives this thing, get you know, gives the device power. Turns the screen on, you know, lets you control the settings. And the simplest way to say it is it's a switch. So whatever you're running, I mean, you can run fans or lights or, you know, anything you want off of it. You connect it to K0 and K1. My zero is connected to the positive on my battery. So I got the positive going in, and then it's a switch. So unless it's a certain temperature, that's off. You know, it's not making contact to the K1. K1 is my fan. It's the positive wire coming from my fan. And then just to make it easy, I connected the negative to the ground, which normally you wouldn't do. You'd do it like somewhere else on the battery or something. But uh, hopefully that makes sense. You got your power. I'll go from left to right. You got your switch wire, so it could be your positive or ground, going into K0. K1 is the output. Like when this relay switches on, and then it lets the current go through. You know, it goes from K0 to K1. So that's... Picture those as like, your, like if you had a manual switch, just a push-button switch or something, you know, on and off. 12 volt is obviously just battery power. Ground is just your ground from the battery. And then this is Celsius. I got mine set at 26. It's kind of hard to see with the flash on. And right now it's reading 23.3. So here's the fan just to show you. Then I'm going to put my hand on the switch because my hand's pretty hot. See, 26, it turns on, then I'll let go. And then there's a couple degree difference, which I think is able to be changed through the menu, but it'll cool down like a couple degrees more than 26, and then it'll shut the fan back off. You can see there's also a little LED indicator right there that turns on when the, when the switch is on. So there's 26, and it's dropping down still. Let's put it in front of the fan. And there you go, shut off. And to set it, you just hit your set button, and then you see it flashes. You can go higher, you know, 25, 24, or sorry, lower, higher. I think it goes down to like zero and like up to 100. I'm not sure yet, I haven't really played with it yet. But that's it. So I need to warm it up again and Turns on. So it's a pretty cool little thing. Uh, you know, if you got like, even if like your car stereo equipment, you know, if you got like an amp or, you know, some stuff you want to keep cool, like that's in your trunk or in a hot part of the car, you can wire one of these things up to it and then never worry about it. You know, it gets too hot, fans will kick on, cool it back down. Don't got to wire up any extra switches and bring the wires up to the front towards you and manually do it. So. Definitely worth six bucks in my opinion. I got on eBay, it was called, uh, actually I'll show you the ad right there. DC 12 volt thermostat, thermometer, cool heat temperature control switch.
Okay, it goes down to negative 50 up to 110. Got my dogs playing in the background, sorry. Only thing I was uh, kind of let down about is the fact that it's Celsius and I couldn't find anyone's in Fahrenheit because I'm from America, so obviously I run Fahrenheit. But just, you know, a quick little Google search and I'll be able to convert. So that's no big deal if that's what you're worried about. Thanks for watching.